stomach cancer, peptic ulcer, and tumor growth in the digestive system. Stomach cancer, also known as gastric cancer, is a serious disease that affects thousands of Americans each year. According to the American Cancer Society, over 26,000 new cases are diagnosed annually in the United States, with higher rates among adults over age. 60. Understanding the stages of tumor growth, key symptoms, and risk factors is essential for early detection and effective treatment. The stomach is a vital organ in the digestive system, located in the upper abdomen. It breaks down food with acid and enzymes before passing it to the small intestine. Stomach cancer typically begins in the inner lining and can grow outward through the stomach wall. The most common type in the US is adenocarcinoma, which starts in the glandular cells. Stages of tumor growth. There are five primary stages of stomach cancer. Stage zero, cancer is found only in the inner layer of the stomach lining. Stage one, the tumor begins to invade deeper layers or nearby lymph nodes. Stage two, the cancer spreads to more lymph nodes or deeper layers of the stomach. Stage three, the tumor invades the outer stomach wall and more lymph nodes. Stage four, cancer spreads to distant organs, such as the liver, lungs, or bones. Early detection is critical. In the US, most cases are diagnosed at later stages, making treatment more challenging. Peptic ulcer disease and its connection to cancer. Peptic ulcers are sores that develop in the stomach lining due to stomach acid. In the United States, the most common causes are infection with helicobacter, pylori bacteria, and long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen and aspirin. While most ulcers are not cancerous, chronic ulcers can increase the risk of developing stomach cancer over time. Cancer of attacking cells, how malignant tumors form. Cancer begins when normal stomach cells mutate and start dividing uncontrollably. These malignant cells can invade surrounding tissues and spread to other parts of the body through the bloodstream or lymphatic system. This process is called metastasis and is a major reason why advanced stomach cancer is difficult to treat. Symptoms of stomach cancer. Symptoms of stomach cancer are often vague, especially in the early stages. In the United States, common warning signs include persistent indigestion or heartburn, unexplained weight loss, loss of appetite, abdominal pain or discomfort, nausea or vomiting, blood in the stool or black tarry stools, feeling full after eating small amounts. If you experience these symptoms, especially if you have a family history of stomach cancer or peptic ulcers, it is important to consult a healthcare provider as soon as possible. Role of viruses and bacteria. Helicobacter pylori infection is a leading risk factor for both peptic ulcers and stomach cancer in North America. In the United States, about 30% of the population carries this bacterium, though not all develop disease. Other risk factors include smoking, heavy alcohol use, a diet high in smoked or processed foods, and certain genetic conditions. Diagnosis and treatment in the US and Canada. Diagnosis often involves endoscopy, biopsy, imaging tests, and blood work. Treatment options depend on the stage and location of the tumor and may include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy, or immunotherapy. In the US, access to specialized cancer centers and clinical trials is widely available, improving outcomes for many patients. Prevention and early detection. To reduce your risk, maintain a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables. Avoid tobacco and excessive alcohol and seek medical care for persistent digestive symptoms. Regular checkups and screening are especially important if you have risk factors or a family history of stomach cancer. For more detailed 3D animations and science-based health information, subscribe to Health Science 3D. Stay informed and prioritize your digestive health.